Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back to my parlour. And today it's just a sharing day. I would like to show you what I made yesterday. I didn't do a video of what I did, um, but there might be an opportunity to do one if things work out the way that I want them to work out. So if you would like a video of what I've made, if they work out, <laughs> um, I will do that for you because this one here is a cooked recipe and it did take a bit of a while for things to get going and it's a bit boring to watching water boil so it's sort of something that may or may not interest you but if they do the job that they are supposed to do I will do a video of that and I may also make some bath bombs which I've done before so I didn't think I needed to do that again but you will see these items in a bath time um, tea party a little bit later on down the track now what these are I will explain to you these are my version of um, bubble bars uh, solid bubble bath and it's a cooked recipe this time I did try one a while ago it didn't quite work out so I thought I'd try this one to see how this one goes. So this one has been cooked. It's a bit like a Play-Doh recipe, but using bubble bath already uh, made up to add to the, um, the dry ingredients rather than that SLA powder that a lot of people use, which I didn't want to use. I didn't have the much, enough money to purchase that anyway. So I used already made bubble bath to... Um, to make these so they're not dry yet I only made them yesterday but I made them in like little Swiss rolls I also made it tried to make it in an ice cream um, scoop it sort of worked out but not quite um, but it still looks okay I also made them in the shape of a carrot and the cutest little turnip you could ever see <laughs> Um, as well and I will be using those in future bubble bath tea time parties um, and you'll see what they what I do with those as well it's so cute isn't it little carrot same recipe same colors and then I just rolled the excess in this one this is half the recipe um, because I didn't want to make the full load because I don't like to make too many items because I don't want to have to worry about preservatives so I usually make a small quantity that I can use up fairly reasonably t in a reasonable time where I won't need preservative so this is half the recipe which is it's quite a lot isn't it so um, I mean this is not the size of a lush product but it's certainly big enough for one bath and I hopefully it works the way that I want it to work okay I made some um, bath bombs I made some little donut ones which are rather cute so a donut one a pink donut and another pink donut which is rather cute I'll be using those in, in another bath bomb tea party. Um, I made these again with the ice cream scoop, but they didn't quite work out the way that I wanted them to, and they got marks on them because I put them on the board to dry when they were already still wet. Um, so I've got another idea for these. I'm hoping that will work, and I'll show you those too at a later date. Another one that I used on the ice cream scoop didn't quite work out quite right. So I sort of, um, but I also made a little rabbit. I used a biscuit cutter to make this one and it worked out quite well. Some people have had difficulty apparently by using biscuit cutters, but I found that quite, quite okay. More detailed or smaller the biscuit uh, cutter would be a little bit perhaps difficult but this came out quite well and his little eyes are <laughs> so cute just a white bunny again I'll be using that at a later stage too and I'll show you that one as well this one's a bit of an interesting rabbit so be prepared for a surprise with this one so that's what I made yesterday 
after I made those, I had a bit of a a bit of time in the afternoon. I did a bit of reading, not a lot of reading, but I did a bit of reading. Waiting for my friend to arrive, and we went out for dinner, and then we went to see Mary Poppins the stage musical, and I. I really enjoyed it. It was just a wonderful, wonderful play, a musical play. And they got a st standing ovation at the end, which and it was deserved because it was just a oh, great, great, great show. Especially the tap dancing. We loved the tap dancing. And, yeah, I'd like to, I love live theatre, I love musicals and things like that. So much different to watching them on TV or on shows, you know. So I had a really good time with that. I did put um, a short video up, but I could only show the curtain because of um, legal copyright, copyright and things like that, which I couldn't show you the show because that was, that was fair enough too. So that's just the, the picture, just so I know you know that I was there. After that show, we walked back into the city for a little bit further. The football was on, the semi-final, the football was on. Um, <clears throat> between Port Adelaide and the Crows that got out at the same time as the um, musical did so we all meet up with the crowd there the Crows won <laughs> which is good I like the Crows rather than Port Adelaide football um, but anyway I'm not a football f um, player or watcher but I like the Crows always have done um, if I had to choose that is and then on the way there we walked through the city to where we went to next and that was Mary Poppin it's an alternative nightclub I would say it was an alternative nightclub we went there for a while and we watched the drag show that was really good I love drag shows I always have and have been haven't been to one for oh since my daughter before my daughter was born so she's 27 so you can imagine how long ago my last drag show was so it was nice watching it and then I'll say to my friend you know those kids down there they weren't even born yet when we were just going and I thought well and here we are um, old enough to be their mothers and watching them dance so enjoying the things that we used to do at their age and it was a bit of a it was a strange feeling actually strange um situation to be in hmm interesting anyway guys i'm going to put this out of the way for you so i'm going to give you a card just a um, for the collective just one card just to see what might be happening for next month because tomorrow is the 31st of july and it's almost um august another um, important for well, the last of the winter month for us here and I'm going to pour a cup of tea to get the energy flowing and let's see what August has in store for us shall we I'm going to use in this deck I love this deck it's such a cute energy about it, such a cute vibe. So let's have a look, guys. What's the card for the collective for the month of August? Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at the card. Need a little bit of shuffle. For the collective, please. The sun. Oh, what a lovely card to receive. The vibrancy of the sun. Oh, it's a perfect card for August. And for if, if the situation you're in at the moment, it feels as though, you know, this is good indication that whatever the situation you're in will be resolved if that's what you want or will continue if that's what you want so whatever situation you're in at the moment whether you want it to continue or you want to change it or you want to end it the sun is a good indication that you'll receive what you need within this situation does that make sense <laughs> this is a good card to receive in whatever way you want to um 
to deal with the situation. So the sun, the bluebird, your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity and success. You'll garner the recognition, your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So whichever way you want it to head, the sun card indicates that yes, it will happen. The bluebird also indicates that a message is on its way to you in regard to a situation that you wish to, to do whatever you want to do with it. Um, so the bluebird also indicates a positive message. Birds are just a good omen for messages so if you hear a, a chorus of birds in the morning when you wake up you can um, you can say that you will have a great day full of messages and signs and things that are leading you in the right direction telling you where you need to be in a specific time frame it's, birds are just an omen of message and an omen of finding out what you need Hmm, I like the idea. So that's a really good card to receive. So thank you everyone just for joining me and um, yeah, just joining in. So thank you very much and until next time, so many blessings.